Hello, this is Mike Levin from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to grab a custom marker class and bring it into our Yahoo Map project. Now, last time we had worked with XML and brought in XML from the back end to create and place markers on a map. Now we want to grab a custom marker class so we can make this a little bit more robust. So let me outline the process that we're going to go through. We're going to go to the Yahoo Map Developer Center and take a look at examples of the custom marker class. Then we're going to download and grab that class. And if you don't know about classes, you want to go to my YouTube uh, tutorial on creating a custom class in Flex 3. And we're going to examine that class and make sure it meets the six parts of a class. Package, import statement, class statement, properties, constructor function, and methods. Once we've done that, we're going to do a little house cleaning. We're going to change our image folder and just call it images. I like that name better. We're going to place the custom marker image in that folder. We're going to import the correct class packages and we're going to add two lines of additional code. The marker and the custom image marker. Now once we do that all we're going to do is change the image look. So you won't have that dark looking dot but a pink flower. Now you're going to go, what the heck have you done? That wasn't much of a change. But what we would have done is set the entire class package structure up so we can do some more robust bus things next time and actually go in and hack that class and bring in uh, images and tutorials and audio and everything else that we need to to make it work properly. So let's go to the Yahoo Development Center and uh, take a look at our maps example. Click on examples and go down to custom marker applications and let's look at output and you can see here if I come along here and I type in Florence Kentucky where I'm at and hit image marker and click add image there I'm added an image it's a small little pink flower with the name Florence okay, and I can pull over there Florence Kentucky United States also this has longitude and latitude just what we need to make our uh, XML work properly. So now let's go back, let's download this and take a look at the class structure. So I'm going to come along here. Let's go back. I'm going to hit Download Flex Project. Thank you very much, Yahoo, for giving me all the source code. I've already uh, downloaded this to my desktop and unzipped it. Let's take a look at the unzipped package right now. So here's the unzipped package looks like a nice Flex 3 project and we're going to click on the source folder and there's two uh, class libraries here here's a com library Yahoo maps markers and there's my custom image marker that's what I'm going to want to use and here's a simple custom image marker won't use that but I'll bring that in as well let's go back and there's another class as well FlexLib and our flex library and it has uh, assets and charts and controls and events and a number of other things and I'm just going to bring this with me as well because further down the line I might find out that I need this so let's go ahead and import both of these classes. All I have to do is copy these two folders and paste them into my uh, flex folder on my desktop so let's do that right click the copy minimize that let's go to my flex project right here I'm called this Yahoo map part 3 I'm just going to go to the source folder, right click and paste in the class folders. Great. Now what I want to do, the next part, and let's call ahead and follow along in our uh, little series here. Once we've grabbed the classes, we want to examine it and make sure it follows the six uh, part series that we found out in the YouTube uh, tutorial on creating a custom class. So I'm going to go to the uh, com folder, Yahoo, Maps, Markers, and open up that custom class. I can just double click it to open it up. And now let's examine that class and see if it looks just like we think it should. Here's the first part, that's our package. Here's the second part, that's our import statements. Here's the third part, that is our class statement. Isn't that great? We're following along just like uh, we expect it. Here's the next part, which is our constructor function. And below the constructor function are all our methods. And this is the class structure. And you know, it may look complex, but but once you understand that class structure, it's a lot easier to work with and modify and hack a class. And that's what you want to do as an initial coder, as a new coder, is just learn to hack. And learning structures and how they're put together is the best way to do that. So now that I've confirmed that this does indeed follow that six-part uh, structure, let's go ahead and do the next part. And we're going to change the image folder to images and place the marker image in the image folder. So let's do that right now. 
Let's come over here and we've created this image folder. Uh, bad naming. Let's rename that and just call it uh, images. And now I want to find that image uh, JPEG or ping. So the way I'm going to do this is examine this code in Dreamweaver. So let's open up the source file. There's a Yahoo custom markers I downloaded from the Yahoo uh, Development Center. Let's open this up in Dreamweaver. And Dreamweaver is great because you can open up a lot of files and look at them in this uh, program. And it saves you the uh, time it takes to actually install this into Flex and take a look at the code. So just open it up in Dreamweaver. And I want to look for the, the, uh, the actual address to the marker. So here's the address of their little pink flower right here. I'm just going to go ahead and take this address and I'm going to basically paste it into my uh, copy it. And I'm going to paste it into my browser. So I've pasted it into my browser. Let's go ahead and go to it. And there's the image right there. All I have to do is save it. And I'll just put it on my desktop. I'll just copy it from my desktop. And I'll paste it right into my Flex project. So we're going to use Dreamer for some more. So we'll just bring that down out of the way here for a moment. Let's go back to Flex and go to my images folder. And like once again, you need to rename this folder images. For some reason, the name didn't stick or I named it somewhere else. And we'll rename it images. And let's go ahead and paste that uh, image in there. And now you have the uh, ping image in there, the little dot flower. And we can import that now using the marker class. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we've done our housekeeping, we've changed the image folder to images and we've placed the marker image in the image folder. We need to import the correct classes. Now the way to do that is just compare the classes that we have with the present project with the ones from the custom marker class that we got from the Yahoo Maps Developer Center. So let's go ahead and bring that up. We already have that up in Dreamweaver. And looking at Dreamweaver and comparing the two, it looks like I don't have the custom image marker import or the markers import. So I want to copy these two uh, import statements. And I see I have the, the also the simple custom marker. Let's have, copy these three. And everything else is pretty much the same. And I, I found that out just by examining and looking at the two codes. I'm going to come along here and just put a little, uh, just uh, a comment saying, hey, I added something. And let's paste in those import statements. Now we're going to bring in all the package information that we need to make this work correctly. Now, what's a little different here is previously we, we had used namespaces. If you go back to our Yahoo uh, tutorial on creating a custom class in Flex 3, we used namespaces to import the class. Here, we're actually using a action script import, which is going to allow us to, to work with the functions directly. And that's the next piece. We're going to add some code. So the last part of this example is we need to add two lines of code, a variable marker, marker, and marker new. So we're actually going to dip right into that class and pull out the functions that we need using the custom image marker class. So let's do that. I'm just going to copy this code right here. Let's copy the first line. Go back to our code and let's find where we might use this. Right here at the very bottom where we handle the map initialization we come here where we actually add the markers to the for loop. Now, we're adding this simple marker, but we don't want to do that anymore. We want to add our custom marker. So we're going to open that up a little bit. Create a new variable. And that's my markers variable. And the, mark, the word marker is coming from the import of the custom class. We only have one more line of code here. And let's go and get that. It's the marker new custom image marker class. Let's grab that. And you can see it brings going to bring in my images forward slash dot underscore splat dot ping that I grabbed earlier from the web. Let's copy this. And let's paste that in. And then uh, I see I have a little error here. And basically, it's in the copy and paste from Word. You've got to be careful about copy and pasting from Word sometimes. It puts in some funny characters. So we're good there. And here's my marker.latlon being set for each marker, and that is put into the Yahoo Maps. So we're ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, test our program. 
And there you have it. There's those beautiful pink flowers. Now you're going to go, Mike, you really haven't done very much. You've just replaced ugly black markers with uh, funky pink flowers. But you know we really have done something. We've created a custom class, or we've, at least we've grabbed a custom class, and we're going to start hacking that next time. And it's that class mechanism that is going to give us the power that we need to bring in audio and video and all types of other information into this Yahoo Map scenario.